Hi everyone, for today's video, I'm going to check out the first two episodes of X-Men 97. For those who don't know, X-Men 97 is an American animated TV series, and it's based on the Marvel's comic superhero team, the X-Men. In addition, it is also a revival of the X-Men animated series from the 1990s, and basically it continues from where the series ended. And this got a lot of people excited as they want to see the old team come back again. However, there are some who are skeptical because Disney wants to bank on that nostalgia money and worries that they will make it quote unquote too woke. And also the head writer, Bowen DeMeo, was fired before the series came out and that was basically because of his OnlyFans. But I want to see if the series sticks to the original source material or does it stray off? Well, let's find out. So the first episode takes place a year after the death of Professor Charles Xavier. And with his death, a sympathy for mutants begins to grow. However, there are some who are still hating on them, like the group Friends of Humanity, who have captured a young mutant named Roberto da Costa, aka Sunspot, and we are shown that they are outfitted with Sentinel Tech, which not gonna lie, that canon makes it look like they're cosplaying as Mega Man. Anyways, the X-Men show up to save Roberto and kick ass. Later on, they tried to find out where the hell the Friends of Humanity are getting the Sentinel technology, and so they go to interrogate Garrick, the man who assassinated Charles Xavier, in order to locate Trask, who has disappeared. While probing Garrick's mind, Jean Grey receives horrible visions of what's to come. Luckily, this leads them to a junkyard where Trask is indeed rebuilding the Sentinels with the aid of a lobotomized Master Mold. And then we get a kick-ass action scene. So yeah, the X-Men kicked the Sentinels' asses and captured Trask's bitch ass. Oh, and while that shit was going down, both Cyclops and Jean ponder on leaving the group so they can raise their upcoming baby in a peaceful place away from mutant hatred. Then the episode ends with Magneto showing up at the Institute saying that Charles Xavier entrusted him to lead the X-Men. Then we get to episode 2 where the X-Men are skeptical of Magneto despite saving people and mutants from harm. And they're not alone as the UN show up at their doorstep to arrest Magneto and he complies. And so we get the trial of Magneto as people are protesting over his crimes on humanity. But at the same time, some of the X-Men are there to keep an eye on him to make sure he doesn't do shit. Meanwhile, there's a asshole named Executioner who is there to take out Magneto. And he does so by having the protesters storm the fucking building. This way to the traitors! Hmm, why does this one look familiar to me? Anywho, the X-Men tried to riot control the protesters to no avail. Meanwhile, Wolverine has to deal with another issue. Logan! He's... he's here! Who? Apocalypse? The baby! Oh, crap. Shit just went from zero to 100 real fucking quick. Yep, Jean is going into labor, which forces Rogue to take Cyclops with her so they can be with Jean. And if that wasn't bad enough, the doctor refused to deliver the baby because they are mutants. And so Rogue has to do this shit herself. Meanwhile, back at the trial, Executioner goes in and tries to shoot Magneto, but this happens. the air what has he done to me well we're fucked so yeah as shit hits the fan magneto then warns that his patience is limited with all this mutant hating bullshit and takes both the judges and executioner to the atmosphere 
While there, Magneto shows his intentions to carry out Xavier's will, whether he likes it or not. And so for letting them live, the UN grants Magneto a pardon and makes the mutant nation of Genosha as part of the UN. Unfortunately, Storm has to leave as she is no longer a mutant and is just an ordinary human, which can't blame her cause being ordinary sucks ass. And the episode ends with this. She's back! Jean? I need the X-Men. Uh, what? Jean? Shit just went from zero to 100 real fucking quick. And that was the first two episodes. So what do I think of the series? So far, I am liking it as it sticks to the original TV show, from the drama to the banter between the characters, right down to the art style, themes, dialogue, and even the pacing, and the badass action scenes. And it's also pretty interesting to see how the characters are coping with the death of Charles Xavier as they face new challenges coming their way. Not to mention, it also brings back the original theme. And hell, they even ended with the same end credits as the original. And I gotta admit, it was pretty cool to hear some of the original cast members return to reprise their roles. I am Storm, Mistress of the Elements! And so, is there any negatives? Like, so far, no. So, in a nutshell, so far, this series is looking good. And I can't wait to see more. So, yeah, those are my thoughts. And also, if you enjoy my work, support the channel at Coffee. And for those who don't know, Coffee's like Patreon, but based. There you can support me, and you can have your names in the credits. And if you do support me, thank you very much. I appreciate it very much. Stay safe, everybody, and goodbye.